This is Dillon, Colorado. Big, beautiful lake. People mountain biking, skateboarding, jogging, all over the place. This has to be the most fit state. Everyone's wearing hiking shoes. Guys getting thirsty? Beautiful. Beautiful. We passed Keystone, Colorado, and Breckenridge. I believe a while back. Whoa, a nice, beautiful drink. Man, I wish I had my camera on the swivel. Pictures and videos doesn't do this place justice. To smell the evergreens and the air and to feel it all on a bike, that's what it's all about. Gotta get my wife to come out here on a trip. After our last trip to Georgia, she pretty much Cut the limit to three or four hours on a bike. It was a miserable experience for her. A hundred degrees on the back of a motorcycle for eight and a half hours not moving. I couldn't do it. But I need her to experience this with me. This is how you feel what motorcycling is about. You begin to get an understanding. But when you got traffic, it kind of takes away from it a little bit. Let's take a look way down there. Don't tell me you guys are getting ready to go up that mountain. Oh boy. So on a road bike, you can shift gears down so low that you can make it up these. Obviously you have to be in shape. No pork chops running through your clogged veins. 
but on a children's bike <laughs> that's a one speed thing you're gonna be stopping every five feet all right we're into town i'm gonna shut it down and i'll catch up with you later so we just made it out of Breckenridge. It was a big cluster beep. That place was packed. I can't even imagine what it's like here in the winter when the skiing season is going. I've never seen so many sandals and hiking shoes in my life. So now we are on Highway 9, I believe. Colorado 9, something like that. And uh, feeling a little bit of the fresh air. That downtown heat was getting to be pretty bad. Stop and go traffic. That would be nice in my thousand acres. I leapfrog Boyd right in behind Ernie now. So I gotta be on my game. He'll let you know if you did something wrong. All for the better. I wanna learn, I wanna get better. And what better way than from someone that knows how to ride. Pretty cool. So on our last OFR trip, Ernie was gracious enough to lend me a bike. I was going to fly into Denver and rent one. He said fly out to California. I've got a bike that's for sale because he had just bought another one, a CBO, Harley Davidson, and you can ride it. And I told him anything happens to it, I'll buy it, I'll fix it, whatever it takes. I appreciate it. And so the day we were ready to take off, I tried backing the thing out of his garage and there was a little step where I misstepped or something and I dropped that beast. Uh, I tried putting my foot down to stop it but at over a thousand pounds or whatever those things are, I tore uh, my hamstring. So he comes out of his house, looking at me, I'm down on the ground, pinned there. Help me get the bike off. Inside his head thinking, what the hell did I just do? Why am I letting this clown ride this bike? I'm trying to sell it. Pristine condition, everything he owns is pristine. The man is meticulous about everything. And here I go. Put a couple scratches on his uh, guards. Nothing serious on the bike though, just the uh, front and back guards. So now I'm focused on that. This is the biggest bike I've ever ridden. And uh, we take off. And every stoplight, I'm used to putting my left foot down and my right foot on the brake. But I couldn't because my left foot, my hamstring was torn. I think that night that thing turned black and blue from my ass to the back of my knee and so I couldn't put any weight on it and so everything I had to do was on the right side very uncomfortable I was pissed at myself that I dropped this man's bike after he was so kind enough to let me ride it um, and that was the bike I went up Pike's Peak with that's the most scared I've ever been on a bike. I've raced motorcycles, dirt bikes. I've raced uh, drag race motorcycles. I've done road racing. I've done 175 on my CBR. Motorcycles don't scare me, but it was a perfect storm that day. A bike I was uncomfortable with, a busted up 
hamstring, Pike's Peak with sure drop offs on the edge and 190 degree turns and you come around a corner and a gust of wind would just blow your ass to the side. I got up that thing after I prayed to Jesus and Lord and Mary and I said I'm never coming up here again. On the way down it was much easier. Um, but on the way up, boy, whew, Boyd was right in the white line, right on the edge, standing up, looking over. The closer he got to the edge, the closer I got to the middle, to the orange lines. And you never knew when some car was going to take that turn too fast and come in your lane or there were people riding their brakes. You could smell brake dust all up and down that mountain. Those minivans, rotors blazing, pads on fire. So yeah, it was a memorable experience to say the least. Would I do it again? I'd do it again on this bike. I'm very comfortable with this bike. This is a nice open road if we had a little open. This is a nice road to stretch our legs if all these cars weren't here. Wouldn't stretch too far though. Here's 25 miles an hour. But yeah, we got it back. Safe and sound. He was able to sell it a little while later. And I escaped with my life. Song on the radio, band playing on my Spotify is Black Rebel Motorcycle Club. I've got a hodgepodge of music tastes. Um, from Rush, and yes, the classic 70s, um, to Tool, Testament, Sia. So yeah, I'm all over the place. Recently, I've just been downloading a bunch of unknown bands and giving them a shot, giving them a chance. Can't play it for you because you know YouTube doesn't allow that sort of thing. It demonetizes. Not that I have to worry about that. My biggest viewed video is just over 300. And while I'm at that, I appreciate you guys following me. Um, I'm following some of you back. If I haven't followed you back and you got a tube channel, let me know. I, I like to do that. I like to see what people are up to. Get ideas. See what people's lives are like. I'll gladly follow you back. There's a lot of good stuff out there. There's a lot of crap out there, uh, but the ones I've followed so far, I've enjoyed. So nice job, fellas. So now we get a little more curvy. I'm gonna hang back a little bit here. Give myself a little bit more room. Temperature dropped about 10 degrees. Diesel, 
yuck. It's a Monday. What are all these people doing here? Shouldn't they be working? I'm gonna pull over. I'll check back with you in a minute.